Karate Combat fans, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, Diego the Samurai of Andano. the pit, Diego Avendano, as you heard from Bass earlier, originally from Venezuela. A lot of very accomplished training, a lot of mixed training in lots of different arts as well. Extremely aggressive, very good with the spinning kicks. Two-time Venezuelan national kickboxing champion on top of that. A lot of people really expecting big things from this six-foot welterweight. And his opponent, Fighting tonight out of the red corner. Welcome, Fernando, the brave animal. Paz. Oh, Fernando Paz, hailing out of uh, Almagro in Spain. Very aggressive and strong fighter indeed. Had a good five-week training camp running into this one. Looking to rebound from a loss, though. Dropped a unanimous decision to Vasily Antiki uh, September of last year, back in Season 3. Had a couple of good wins before that, including a great knockout win over Alexandra Bodebain uh, at Casey Evolution all the way back in 2019. A lot of people here in the crowd to support Diego Amandano, the samurai. There you see, 35 years old, he's significantly taller than his opponent tonight. He's going to have an uh, arm and leg reach advantage. The bravest animal, Fernando Paz, a full four inches shorter than Avendano tonight. Honey Badger. Bravest animal. Certainly could be. <laughs> Honey Badger don't care. <laughs> That's a great clip. Your referee for this one is Mark Goddard. Thankfully. Well, Karate <laughs> Combat control. is excited to announce that we'll be back in Orlando on the back lot of Universal Studios on Saturday, December 17th for Karate Combat 37 live, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Tickets on sale now at karate.com forward slash tickets. Get them before they sell out. Started off with a uh, nice low kick from Avadano. Very interesting stance from Avendano. It's bladed, but with a very square torso. And it's fainting. Oh, good hard low kick there. Oh. Nice doubling off on that left hook coming forward from Paz. Oof. Oh, man. Paz showing some good boxing. Yeah, Paz cross hook. That's nice. Oh, nice beautiful that kick. Away from the right corner. to the groin. Over there. Yep. Away from the corner, please. Thank yeah, Paz time. said he All doesn't night. feel that his experience, that his uh, opponent has the necessary Thank experience in this full contact environment, ooh. and that one, ooh, just a little bit low. How low ooh. can you go? Unintentional. But you're seeing straight away, Paz is trying to immediately press forward, land the multiple shots, not yes. just the single shot on it and out. You know, really come forward and keep those shots going. Recover it here. Good. Getting ready to head back in there. Here we go. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Well, Avendano taking that time to recompose himself. Probably hoping to slow pass down a little bit. He had an excellent start throughout this first minute. Diego seeming a little stiff out there. My man Fernando's definitely putting those those combinations together. A lot of times in karate, it's the one shots that count. But here in karate combat, you can't just throw one shot. You got to throw those combinations. And Paz got some power in his hands also, so he needs to watch out, Abadano. Oh, nice head kick. Very clean head kick by Diego. Avendano measuring again, but Paz trying to keep the pressure up top. Oh, there's the right hand from...
Fernando. Man, he's got some heat behind those strikes. Yeah, he's great. This cross hook is a really yes. good combination for him. Should throw a body head. Or head body, left hook, right body shot. Go for a liver, somebody said. And Valtellini is calling for a liver kick. There we go, and he throws it. That's nice, so he's listening. Again, going up that front side. Maz trying to move around the outside here, eats the leg shot, but it's good response with the hands. Yes, because he's, again, he needs to set up his kicks. Yes. With the punches, then Paz can do that. The feints from Fernando is definitely... Oh, my man, Diego, switching yeah. sides. Switching stance, going southpaw for a moment. Oh, nice pin. Nice kick. Body kick. They're back to the body dice. Yeah, there was like a stutter step in the tempo as well. Paz firing the left hands, goes that right straight to the body. I yes. love that. I, I knew you were going to have the body. <laughs> <laughs> because that sets up headshots, you know. Oh, it it's does. Like, again, oh, look digs at the left of the body up top. Again. Really mixing up those left hands, and what a good wow. round. What a way for to Fernando close. Paz. Fernando's combinations working up and down the body. Like you said, boss, that if you want to hit somebody in the head, go to the body first. That's it. This is the family of uh, Diego Avendano watching him compete for the first time here on U.S. soil. But it's uh, a, a tentative first round for him, I feel. I feel so too. Yeah, because he can count it right away from the get-go, you know, yes. and that stops yourself in your tracks. Now, Bazooka Joe in the corner there, trying to give him some advice. Let's have a look at some of the replays here. There's the high kick. He just missed. Good right from Paz. He, he kept doubling up that left hand several yes. times. Diego's throwing a lot of pop shots. He's not, not putting combinations together like Fernando is. So he's got to let those hands and feet fly. Yeah, he's throwing the body shots. I love that liver left hook. Woo! And a left hook liver. I like Ooh. that one as well. Second of time. So into the second round here, another three minutes on the clock. Black pants for Fernando Paz, white pants for Diego Avendano. Three more bouts coming your way this evening. Of course, the debut of James Vick in karate combat coming up next against George Perez. Good catch of the kick from Paz. Opportunity for ground and pound, working the body again here. You see, I love it because that means he's thinking. Yes. I love the feints from Fernando. He gets a good, big reaction out of Diego. He's got to use that to his advantage. Faint and then go. You can see him waiting to pull the trigger. Any kick that he's going to throw is going to counter that. Oh, oh. Good low kick. I heard that. Nice return, though. Oh, beautiful cross liver. And oh, again. Oh. Hey. And going up top now. Oh, chasing Avendano. Yeah. Oh, and he gets it. A huge knockout for Fernando Paz. That's it. The end of the night of Diego Avendano. Wow. My goodness. Wow, you see, that is working the body, working the head. That's setting your opponent up. Cross liver, it started with that. I mean, being all over the place just confuses your opponent. It's very simple. you got to be everywhere. Has what no idea where those strikes are going. It's those body shots that set it up. That's you were correct. It. Wow. Some big power. I cannot wait to see a replay of that. Mm. Well, Fernando Paz just checking on Avendano here, who is thankfully back to his feet in fairly speedy order. Vicious knockout from Fernando. Okay, it's over, buddy. Huh? Fight's over. No way. Oh, and you can hear. Avendano doesn't realize that he got knocked out. Look at that. Mark Mar Goddard just says, come get your fighter to his corner. Let him know what happened. Wow. I have been there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the replay, guys. 
Oh, oh and then the body <laughs> shot. <laughs> the body just, just for fun. Let's have a look. Here we go. Overhead. Left set it up. Oh, it's a one-two. It's a clean one-two over the top. And now look, the body shot. Boom. Oh. To solo plexus also. Beautifully wow, timed. Wow, look at this. Boom. Boom. Over top of that check hook. Fernando Paz not worrying about the kicks all wow. that much. Woo. No, oh, his... Uh, ooh. Well, I guess we thought it was a good knockout as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our winner by knockout in the red corner, Fernando okay. the Brave Animal. I'm going to have Boss push me off the stage. Fernando Paz is your winner by knockout. He's going to improve his karate combat record to a very impressive 3-1 and one in this welterweight division. The second clean knockout he's had. He's going to head up pit side and get a word with our broadcast colleague, Alex Wendling. And now I am with Fernando Paz. Congratulations. What a nasty knockout that was. Was that exactly how you pictured it ending? Eh, felicidades, Fernando. Eso te quedó demasiado de duro. Entonces, así es como lo imaginaste. Sí, sí, había soñado muchas noches con, el, con este momento de apretar en el momento que vivís en la más mínima debilidad y es que sabía que lo tenía. Le pinchaba abajo, que es que pinchó a todos mis compañeros de gimnasio y dicho, a este también lo voy a pinchar. Así que va por unos otros. Yes, it's exactly how I've been dreaming of. Once I made the hits and the kicks, I knew I had him weak and I knew I had the shot. Let's go. <laughs> and you were a karate combat vet. Who do you want next and what do you see yourself in this division doing? Eres un veterano de karate combat. Entonces, ¿con quién quieres pelear en contra y qué te ves haciendo después? No tengo ninguna duda de que quiero pelear con Joshua Cuajalle, con todos mis respetos, pero ese cinturón se viene para el magro. <laughs> Definitely, I want to fight with Joshua Cuajalle, and that title is mine. No, no disrespect to him, but that title is mine. Wow, calling out Joshua the Preacher Cuajagan. Good call out there, my friend. Give it up for Nando Paz. Let's take a look at some of the stats from that bout. Punches landed. Felt like way more than 26 to me, I've got to say, but 26 to 5 indeed. Outstriking 31 to 20. Fernando Paz, clean as you like with the hands. Let's go ahead and head down pit side and get some analysis from our friend and colleague, Mr. Robin Black. Th thanks, guys. Man, that really was a wild, wild finish. You know, fighting is best expressed in an optimal balance of tension and relaxation. And you saw Avin Daniel was very, very tense early in that fight. Maybe the pressure, maybe because of how much it means to him. But Paz, on the other hand, relaxed and unencumbered. So he was able to flow freely, take the shots a little bit easier, and land the shots a little more intensely. Put everything into every one of those punches beautifully done he had a little time off we can see how much he has imp improved that was a wonderful performance by Fernando Paz thank you Robin Black Roy Jones jr. in the house tonight enjoying boop, boop. all of the action pit side yeah absolutely great to have him here um, sorry, I'm just thinking I'm going to have to go steal a photo <laughs> at some point. <laughs> we have to. I have uh, to. You have to as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's just uh, have a quick think about that fight. Uh, tough one for Diego Avendano. Yes. Got put on the back foot straight out of the gate. Yeah, you know, it's, I mean, we saw last time the power that he has, you know, and now he, he looked way more compact. He was way more composed. Going for the body they had, the liver left hook landed, the cross landed, the cross to the body. Even when the takedown came, he hit a body shot as well. He's just all over the place, and that's how he win fights. Yeah, exactly. A any any thoughts from you, Stephen, on that battle? Yeah, I mean, Diego, he was pop shot in his opponent. It was the combination for Fernando that got the W for him and set up that knockout. So he got the W, and we'll see what's next for him.